The following knife review is a knife loaned to me from my friends at WhiteMountainKnives.com. When you're in the market for a good knife, make sure you check out WhiteMountainKnives.com. They have excellent customer service, excellent prices, and very quick shipping. That's WhiteMountainKnives.com. Hey YouTube, Joe here with another knife for you today. And today I bring you the Kaiser Cutlery Gemini by Ray Laconico, model number KI3471. So, a lot to cover, let's dive right in. So here's the box really quick, very nice box, very nice presentation. Uh, not only do you get the box, there's a box on the outside of this, I have it somewhere, I just didn't, I don't have it near me. But a box on the outside of this, and you get to this box, which is a harder box, and then when you open that box, you got this nice pouch, this digitized pouch. You open it up, I mean the knife's not in there currently. Very smooth on the inside, nice presentation, nice pouch. And you get a little cloth in there as well. So I really like that. By Kaiser. Nice, nice touches. So let's bust out the knife. So here's the knife. Let's zoom right in. Oop, a little off camera. So let me uh while I show you the knife, let me go over some of the materials. So the blade is here's my notes. I should know this by heart. The blade is obviously a drop point blade, stone washed. The material is CPN, I'm sorry, CPM S35 VN steel. The scales are titanium. And if you want to know a particular type of titanium, though I'm not up on all the types of titanium, it's a uh, 6AL4V titanium. We're naming it titanium now. Uh, what else can I tell you about it? The blade length is a 3.1 inch blade length. The overall length is 7.25 inches. Uh, it's a frame lock, obviously. Uh, the, bear, the, the pivot is a ball bearing pivot, which I can say opens very smooth. What else we have here we can talk about? Uh, the the clip is a uh, tip-up carry, right side only. As I said in the beginning, it's a uh, collaboration with with Kaiser and Ray Laconico. Now, if you remember, I had another knife by Ray, um, that I reviewed for from Kaiser and Ray Laconico. It's the Intrepid. I kind of, I mean, it's a different blade shape, it's a whole other thing, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of like a mini version of that, of that knife, the Intrepid. Make sure that's coming in clear. Uh, what else can I tell you? So let's zoom in. Nice anodized pocket clip, anodized pivot cover, anodized screws. Uh, I'm not sure of the back spacer. I didn't catch that. Oh, it looks like it might be anodized titanium as well. It's a flipper, as I said before. Opens like a dream. And pretty much goes all day long. Uh, you can look for it anywhere. It'd be about $170. So well, let me measure it up for you. I know I did just mention the uh, the stats, but I'd like to show you this way against something. Uh, again, I have. Oop, sorry about that, Mr. Camera. Uh, again, I have the 50 here. Don't get happy on the 50, guys. <laughs> One of my subscribers made me laugh. He said, "Joe, come on, cut the 50 with it. Let's see what it's all about." Uh, no, I can't. Have, I can't even afford to cut say, a dollars. Forget about 50s. So there it is against the 50. Now, I'm not going to be doing a cut test, unfortunately, because this is just a, uh, a loner. So, let's see. There it is. Against the ruler. Uh, I'll show it against one other knife that I recently reviewed. It is, where is it? The Kershaw Showtime. that. Line it up pivot to pivot so you can get an idea. 
There it is against that. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, I've been preaching about how great Kaiser is, and believe me, this knife still enhances that idea. This knife is a fantastic knife. I know you might say, well, how do you know you haven't cut with it? Trust me, anything Kaiser is super sharp. I can do, it feels super sharp. Look at that beautiful look. And Kaiser does a nice stone wash. Even though I'm more of a of a satin blade type guy, they do a beautiful stone wash. I don't think I mentioned the weight. 3.6 ounces. Here it is in the hand. Very light, very nice. Now, I know to coin a, a, a saying my mother used to say, you sound like a broken record, but my last several videos here and there, I keep mentioning uh, things I don't like and do like, and one of the things I don't like, and a few of them, is the pocket clips, and again, that applies to this one as well. I, I now see why there is there, there are people out there that like to make, um, make pocket clips, because there's definitely a need for it in the knife industry. I don't understand, like, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this per se. Um, it's just like a $170 knife. You took the time out to do the, the uh, you know, the packaging, the beautiful knife, great blade, titanium. I know you anodize the pocket clip, but it's just the style of pocket clip. Now, I believe that other style where it comes up and just goes straight out is referred to as a 3D pocket clip. I think that would be much better on here. Reason being... As, an, as it's open, I'll admit, let me fade back a little bit. As a, it's open, it's not a hot spot. So, but again, like the knife I just showed you, the Showtime, it's a hot spot when you're trying to open it. Like right now, it just, as I'm doing it, it digs into my fingers. A very uncomfortable feeling. So, I don't understand, you know, there's a need. Knife companies need to upgrade their pocket clips is basically what I'm trying to say. I mean, you go to all that trouble to make a beautiful knife, super sharp, fantastic materials, and then you just throw on this pocket clip. Now, a lot of people are going to say, Joe, I don't mind that pocket clip. It's fine with me. That's, then that's great. I don't like, you know, maybe, maybe some of these that, depending on the size of the knife, it doesn't feel bad opening up. But for me, I don't know. When I, when I try to open it, I just feel that annoying feeling, dig, like digging in, my, digging in my fingers, and I don't like it. But I can honestly say, other than that, and maybe I did mention, I think, in my last video, I'm not a big fan of just the design of the co of the, the pivot screw or the pivot cover right here. That's all, just the design. I like that they took the time out to anodize it, but I like my personal thing, I mean, my, my personal taste. You've made the knife so, like, great lines, nice and plain, nice and plain blade. I think this would have been nicer just plain as well. That's all. So just the pocket clip change and maybe change the, the pivot covers or the pivot screws, whatever you want to call it, uh, to be something more along the lines of, you know, the nice clean look of the knife. But other than that, well, maybe there's one other thing, but I can understand maybe the price too is a little on the high side. Yeah, you might be saying, but Joe, you're getting, you know, you're getting S35 VN steel, you're getting titanium scales. Yeah, but it's a smaller knife. And if I remember correctly, the... Um, the, what do you, if you when you saw it against the uh, let's bust it out again when you saw it against the the Showtime it's not that big of a knife you know and it's a hundred and seventy dollars but you're paying also you're getting that packaging you're paying for the I mean besides the, what we are you know what you're paying for the, the materials and uh, the, the craftsmanship yes but you are paying for that nice packaging you're paying for that nice um, you know the the pouch that I showed you so if you take into all that into consideration alright hundred and seventy dollars I'm not saying it's too far away from uh, you know what it should be I just think I don't know maybe twenty twenty five dollars less would have been a it would have been a, a, something that more people would have been buying this I mean as it is it stands it's a fantastic knife it's beautiful to look at it's light it's sharp 
Uh, it can't, con you know, because of the size, it, I mean, it is small, but it's not small to be actually, I would say, to be called a gentleman's knife. But it's definitely going to do the task that you want, that's something maybe, uh, you know, that a knife that you would usually use, say, a three and a half inch or four inch knife. It's very beautiful. I just think maybe $25 less. I, I, I'd settle for less packaging, keep the pouch, less packaging, take $20 off, and I'd be a happy camper. But as it stands, absolutely gorgeous. And again, for those of you just watching my videos for the first time, or just get familiarizing yourself with, um, with Kaiser for the first time, definitely, definitely look into Kaiser. I can't tell you how great their products are. I know some people might say, oh, Chinese company, blah, 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 whatever, but this is a Chinese company that's making their own knives, and they're doing collaborations. You know, this is not a clone. They're not making clones. They're making quality products. And this, like I mentioned in my other videos, this Kaiser is not going anywhere. They are definitely a major player in the knife industry. And they're getting better and better and better. So, let me stop rambling on and on. So, final shot. Let's zoom in. Get that centered. So there you have it. It's the Kaiser Gemini, a collaboration with Ray Laconico, model KI3471. $170 everywhere. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and God bless. Thanks for watching my video and please remember to like, share and subscribe.